Hey Gustavo, welcome man. It's a pleasure having you. Likewise. Thank well, you very much for having me here. Well, I'm excited to chat with you today. I want to give a big shout out to our friends over at Florida State Minority Supply Development Council for putting this together and for uh, having this, creating this opportunity for us to connect as, as great entrepreneurs and learn what great entrepreneurs are doing. So I want to talk to you today, Gustavo, about what was the biggest struggle you had regarding sales growing your business? Well, one of the biggest struggles that we always find is to uh, align ourselves with the right personnel that will be a continuation of the values that we represent as a company. So finding the right people with uh, integrity, with, uh, uh, you know, that, that will uh, make a promise and deliver on that promise. So, and, and I think that sometimes people have that distrust with salespeople automatically. They say you can't trust, you're not trust, they can't trust them, or they don't have integrity, they're not going to fulfill what they say, and all of those things. So that is an uphill battle then, you know, if they, if people already distrust you and now you're trying to sell to them another right. product. Like. No, indeed. And, and a lot of people have that uh, preconceived idea uh, about salespeople. Uh, in reality, salespeople are people. Yeah. Uh, and buying people are people. So that is that is probably one of the one of one of the things that, that we need to keep. I've always in my career have tried to connect with a person that is fulfilling a role at that time. And in fulfilling and connecting with that person, I try to put myself in their shoes and see what will be the things that I would like that would make me feel comfortable to make this decision or to make this partnership moving forward. And whenever you do which is nothing more than do unto others as you like others to do uh, to you. So when you offer that kind of, um, of uh, offering and you put it out there, although it might be humbly uh, uh, and, and vulnerable, uh, I think people are far more appreciative than if you try to present this uh, bubble and uh, you know, and, <laughs> and and make unrealistic commitments. Yeah. So that's that's what I would say. So one of the biggest struggles is to find people that really have that uh, th those values that share that we share as a company. How did you overcome that struggle to start finding the right people? Well, I think one of them is looking elsewhere for the right people. Finding the right meaning. I, I, I didn't just look for experience or, you know, previous experience was a welcome thing, but it, it wasn't the main qualifier. I, I want, I, I would rather form a person that is the right person. You hire, you hire people with characters, not characters. Ooh, ooh, say that again. <laughs> you hire people with characters, not, not characters. characters. I love that. <laughs> How, uh, what are the results you're seeing right now with the salespeople you have and with your organization, with, with you practicing this stuff and bringing in and, and developing people? Well, as a growing company, especially as we begin to scale the company, we were lucky to have uh, enjoyed some sustained growth over the last 10 years. The company is about 10 years old. Right. I started it uh, with zero base uh, and limited financial resources. Uh, over the last two years, we, we made the Inc. 5000 for fast growing company in America, and we we plan, thank you. We uh, we plan to continue further growing. Um, our affiliation with the FSMDC, for example, is one of the things that we feel um, we can bring a lot of value to companies that are uh, small. Uh, one of the differentiators about the products that we're offering is I cater to small startup companies because you know when it comes to multifunction equipment they're quite expensive sometimes yeah. leasing companies won't offer financing to companies at least they're fully established well I look for companies uh, like that I have programs in which I do internal leases which is guarantee financing and I actually help a company build their own credit so that has been a, a catapult in, in terms of the growth that we have brought to the market. There are entrepreneurs that are out there listening to this and they're finding themselves in the same category. They're trying to find and trying to develop their business as well and trying to grow their business, trying to get the right salespeople. If there's one major piece of advice you'd like to give them, what's that one major piece of advice? Well, uh, obviously, um, build, you know, the organization that you, they're going to build, um, be very careful about the deep people that are working for you and, and ensure that uh, that you share values, you share the values. And uh, 
uh, when it comes to you know going to the market I mean you want people that are going to be self-motivated and uh, motivation comes in many different ways financial one of one of them is financial of course there needs to be a financial reward but uh, also when you provide an environment when, in which people want to grow then that's that's also motivation so I personally at this point I, I'm building a team that is um, people of different ages and different backgrounds um, but uh, every single one of them uh, I, I'm proud that is a member of my team and I'm awesome. I'm, I'm open to find the next uh, miracle to join us. <laughs> well, we'll definitely put that word out there for you, man. Maybe right. somebody listening and they maybe want to join that team. So, uh, Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay. Appreciate it.